okay so guys I'm just gonna go straight to the point and in this video I'm just gonna show you how to make your appointment booking for the VFS visa submission if you know how to book it online that is great and if you don't just stay tuned and let's all do it together I'll be applying for my business visa the following week so I might as well just show you how to book the appointment so guys let's just get into it no time to waste okay so first we come to the Google and we are going to search for VFS Denmark Ghana appointment and then you click enter I type in Denmark Ghana because I'm applying my business visa through the Danish Embassy so that's why I put in um, Denmark Ghana if you're applying through the Netherlands Italy you just search for VFS Italy Ghana appointment VFS Netherlands um, Ghana appointment in that order so you can see that's the first one we are having here and is you always make sure you look at the the website the HTTPS that is showing VFS global.com Ghana short and in Denmark so we're gonna click the first one and it lead us here to the main page it says welcome to VFS global we are the official partner of the embassy of Denmark in Ghana and here it says our operation are impacted by COVID blah 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 I think I'm gonna dismiss it to give me a clear view from the page <laughs> so what we are going to do now is here you can see that there's home where we are if you scroll down there are more news questions and other things and if you want to apply for visa you click here apply for visa and then they have step-by-step -step guide identify visa type if you scroll down and all that you know but let's just not waste time with that since we are just want to book the appointment so we just click book an appointment it brings us here book an appointment here it says partnering with government across the world we support visa applicant through the entire application process if you are ready to arrange your visa application appointment see below to begin the next part of the process here we can all assume you already have your relevant document for your visa that is why you are here to make a booking an appointment for your submission you know so we're just gonna go ahead and click book now it will send us to this another London page here it says sign in that is if you have already have an account with them you you put in your email address and password and if you don't have an account you can see below here it says I don't have an account so you can click there and you can sign up and put in your details but I have an account already so I'm just gonna click you can see it remembers my email address click there with my password and then click sign in so here it looks pretty empty <laughs> it says active applicant no application found okay so we just go straight to start new booking it brings us to this page and you can see number one appointment details to your details three book appointment four services and five review you can see number one is darker circle around it that means we are on page one and it will move to to your details as in whilst we are filling the forms so it says it's written bold appointment details and it reads please provide information about the type of visa you wish to apply for be aware that the appointment category applicant one chooses will be applied to each of the applicant added to your appointment booking okay so one says choose your visa application center it's already selected Denmark visa application center so I don't have to do more um, we will drop down move down choose your appointment category it's visa it's already selected so choose your subcategory short and long stay is there and at the bottom highlighted blue it reads earliest available slots 
15th october 2021 so that means that is the next date um the earliest date i can get but um i would like to go a little later than that so i need to check on my calendar i think i would like to go for the appointment on the 19th october which is the following week so we just click continue and you can see automatically the appointment details number one has marked green and it has moved to your details number two so let's go down first name is written it already have my details so i just click my name and it fills the first and last name we go down to gender we click female and current nationality ghana we click that and then passport number so i just type my passport number here okay and here it says passport expiring date please enter passport expiring date so here is a calendar you click on it and then my passport will expire 2023 so i select the year it was expire in october 7th so we come down here the next it says contact number please enter country code so we put in the code ghana is 233 we go to the next and then i'll put in my number i have my email address written so here we're gonna click save so it's selected here it says all fields are mandatory unless mark as optional so your details applicant one that is my name patricia boto here if you are more than one or two you want to add another applicant you can still add applicant below it says a service fee is 91 ghana cities applicable to attend a vfs center however please note visa fee will be collected at the center and it's not part of the vfs service fee so if you agree with on this you continue you have no choice than to continue right <laughs> so you can see as we are moving in it's mark green green from number one and two so now we are about to take our slot book appointment we are about to pick a slot date so it says first choose the type of appointment you would like followed by your preferred date you will then be able to select from all the time slots currently available on that day okay so let's scroll down it says choose a slot pick an appointment date green means is available and when is the dates that are available are here oh i wanted to choose 19 but it's not available so i think i'll just go for 18 i'll click on the 18 october when you scroll down it says choose an appointment time you can click the drop down here they have morning afternoon evening but they're not working on evening so i think they have we make it um all for you so time they have standard appointment with usual opening hours um 10 30 sorry 8 30 to 10 o'clock that is a bit early for me but um i think it will do that will be okay <laughs> i think 10 i will choose 10 yeah so let's click continue and then we are number four services we offer a range of optional services to make your application faster more convenient and more relaxed click a service to find out more about it 
or available additional service here they provide services if you want the premium lounge is written for a more personalized you know service you can purchase assets so you can click here read more let's see what it's about so it's written you can pay 140 um, 144 Ghana cities per person that is um, it says for a more personalized service services at you can purchase access to our premium lounge you can also purchase the service during your visit to our any given time simply by informing a staff member this service includes direct access to premium service counter where our staff will verify the document provided and take payment in a single location so their staff can you know if you pay for this premium service you get like a little luxury they get very attentive to you and go through with your documents and stuff and then you can have cold and hot beverages available at your disposal so whilst you are sitting down waiting for your submission and um, to be on your turn you can have some cold drinks and hot beverages you know relaxing there at the same time guys <laughs> the next is a dedicated team member assistant during the submission yeah photocopy printing all this yeah at the bottom it says go back or continue but if we scroll up you can see i selected courier service we click read more it says applicant can choose to have their process visa application document and passport courier to your house or office paying a nominal additional charge that is 58 cities which is so cool so i don't need to go to the embassy to pick up my passport when my visa is ready so they will deliver it to my location so and it costs 58 ghana cities so let's scroll down and click continue okay so guys so here is showing review that is the entire thing so far we have done the forms it says please check all your details carefully ensuring you can attend your chosen appointment time and you have added any service you need so you make sure the appointment time you will be there before you know no Ghana time and that late and all that so yeah let's scroll down let's go through country ghana traveling to denmark blah 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 all this the details is form is filled appointment details are standard dates is 18th and i have chosen this time between 10 to 10 15 which is okay for me and i have i have a courier service that it cost seven um sorry 58 Ghana cities so in total here I uh, will be 149 Ghana cities for this VFS service charge and all that so in order to continue you need to click I accept the terms and condition and then yes I agree to receive future communication on optional value-added services offered by VFS global yeah I would like to and then the next is pay online directed us here you can see my Ghana pay VFS Denmark 149 that is there how much is costing for the total appointment you can pay through the bank GT bank mobile money visa card yeah mm, I'm gonna pay with my visa card so I click on visa payment confirmation so proceed then I'll put in my card details so then I'm gonna click pay so it's very fine please wait okay for other security one-time password I mean they have sent a SMS to my phone um, on this number so I need to put in um, I'll click continue so I can receive an okay so I'm gonna enter the code that was sent into my phone here 
before the payment can go through you know some kind of security okay so now it's processing and it direct us here we are here to find out if it went through yay it went through guys it says thank you for booking an appointment with us we have sent you a confirmation email with the appointment details please bring a printed copy of the email attached together with the booking so that means i'll have to print um whatever they have sent me in my mail so guys let's go to the mail okay so when we come to the mail that is here so i will click on the mail this is vfs appointment system dear applicant please note that your appointment for unique reference number blah 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 first floor 10 o'clock you know it's all here yeah so this is the attach mendy want me to print so i will download it let's see how it looks like so this is the receipt they will check when i get to the vfs it's like a reference number this code and my passport number appointment date and time and all that so if you scroll down this amount is different from how much i'm going to pay for the visa fee itself so this one here is not the visa fee this is just the appointment um, fee charge so when i get there that is um, a different amount i need to pay for my visa fee so guys that was it um, i hope it was helpful and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and see you again in my next video au revoir